Hey everyone, I started this video a little late. I meant to show uh, what I'm cooking for dinner tonight because it's all stuff from the garden. Um, this spaghetti squash though did not come from my garden because I have such a squash bug problem, but it is something that you could grow in the garden. So um, I meant to show how you cut it open and everything, but we'll do that another time. Anyway, it is ready. So I am just finishing up my sauce. Um, I did put in onions from the garden, bell peppers from the garden, garlic, black olives, mushrooms. The mushrooms are not from the garden because I don't trust my own mushrooms because <laughs> that's a fungus. So I don't trust myself to grow that. So anyway, uh, I went to look for some spaghetti sauce and realized all I had was the spaghetti sauce that I canned uh, last month. So we are going to do that. And then, come on now. Oh, and I also put in um, some basil that I dry, that I dehydrated uh, a couple of weeks ago. So I put that in as well. So we are going to try our spaghetti sauce tonight. Uh, the reason why it's orange, though, was because I used um, I used a bunch of ripe tomatoes, but several of them were the yellow gooseberries, and um, and they are obviously not red, so it made the sauce not look as red. So that is why it doesn't look as red as normal spaghetti sauce, but it should still taste very yummy, and it's completely healthy, and this is part of my lean and green that I can have for dinner. So it's good for uh, my inflammation that I fight every day. So this is good, healthy food. And the majority of it came from the garden or it could come from someone's backyard garden. So that is the purpose of tonight's video. Okay, so while we let this get warmed up, I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use up the rest of these mushrooms and make some stuffed mushrooms from that. So I took my fat-free cream cheese and I just heat it up for about 30 seconds until it's a little soft. Um, normally I would use uh, real bacon that I cooked, but um, I just used the microwave kind tonight just to be quick. And then I chopped it up. And then I just do some green onions and salt and pepper and garlic powder in that, and then stuff the mushrooms, and then uh, we'll bake those in a little while. But in the meantime, so for spaghetti squash, once it's cooled down like this, you can just come through. Can you see what I'm doing here? Um, let me kind of turn. And you just scrape it out. And if you've never had spaghetti squash, it really, it is a very delicious alternative to actual spaghetti noodles and it's so much healthier so um, i highly recommend you give it a try if you haven't i'll get the rest of this in a little bit but uh i think the sauce is warm enough now so we can call art in here to come give it a taste test if you've got a minute <clears throat> What you got to, for me, ma'am? I forgot to taste. I was going to taste it myself to make sure it wasn't going to poison you or anything. But. <laughs> I highly <laughs> doubt that would be the case. <laughs> you want to grab a spoon and try it? Or grab, grab us both a spoon and we'll both try it. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, here we go. I know it's going to be good. <laughs> Very good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so we we're letting that simmer. We finished the we got the spaghetti squash in here, and we're just 
going to mix it in, let it simmer a little bit longer. And <coughs> while we're doing that, uh, we are going to get these mushrooms going. So I've got my green onions here. And what I do with the cream cheese, I, you know, I microwaved it for 30 seconds and then put the bacon in salt and pepper, a little pinch of garlic powder, and then the green onions. And then I've got my little pan ready here. So we're just going to just fill up each of these. Once we have them stuffed, we will top them with, I use reduced fat, reduced fat cheese, just the, whatever you have on hand, but I use the Mexican, Mexican blend. You just top it up a little bit and uh, we're going to bake them in the oven at 350 just until the cheese melts. That gives, by the time that you, usually about 10 minutes, that gives the mushrooms time to cook. Okay, we've got the mushrooms in the oven now. So uh, while we're waiting for that to cook, the spaghetti is ready. Um, but really quick, I'm cleaning up my mess real fast. So I want to show you... Um, because we are all about sustainability and composting for sure. Um, that makes the very best gardens and it keeps all of that stuff out of the landfills, which is very bad. So um, I wanted to show you this is what I have collected in my compost bin just in one day. So this, I, this is a empty container I keep at work. I have several that go back and forth with me to work. That way, anyone in the office, as we're using vegetables or coffee or anything, um, it all goes in here. So this came home with me today from the office. Um, this is my countertop compost bin here. So I'm just going to empty this. These bags, by the way, are supposed to be compostable, but they are not. Um, I have had to pull them out of my compost bin after a year and uh, throw them away because they do not break down. So um, when they're not yucky or smelly or anything, then I just keep reusing them when I can. So uh, we've pretty much got that full, but um, our scraps from the spaghetti squash. And one of the most important things I want to show you is the eggshells. Uh, my brother-in-law was making himself some eggs today at the office, so I grabbed his shells when he got done because I keep all shells after we use them. I rinse them and then I usually keep a bowl or an empty carton laying around somewhere. And as long as you rinse them and let them air dry before you put them somewhere, they won't smell. So um, then I usually keep this little bitty uh, processor set up here specifically for eggshells or if I'm trying to top up some um, dried herbs or something. So I just stick it in here and about once a week I go ahead and chop up all of my eggshells that I've collected. And it's as easy as that. And that is so good for your, what did I do with the compost? That is so good for your compost. So we'll just add that in there. And then we'll go run this out to the compost bin. And then look at that. Look at everything that we're saving from the landfills. Are you going to run it out for mm -hmm. me? See, husbands, this is what a good husband does. Mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> yeah, you do have a mic on. Okay, let's follow Art. We'll go, we'll go watch them take it to the compost bin. You prefer which one, the first or the second? Uh, it doesn't matter, whichever one you prefer. We'll have to explain your gate. <laughs> Art doesn't like my wonky little lock on the gate. Okay. 
and there you go. And then when we have gloved hands, we'll come back and mix it all in and add some water to it. And every couple of days, I add water and mix it together and kind of aerate it. Can you it. see the compost pretty so, good? Yep, yep, okay. showing up real good. Okay, there we go. And that you have two. Ah, big... Something got me. <laughs> that scared me. That's awesome. Keep that on video. <laughs> Okay. Our mushrooms are done. All right. Our dinner is ready. Great. So we will say good night to everyone. And we hope you enjoyed our content tonight. And if you did like this, we hope you'll subscribe and keep following us because we have so much more we want to share with you. Thanks for watching.